Okay, hey YouTube, uh, I said I would do a one year review of this tractor and we've had it now about one year and two months and so I thought I'd go ahead and do this review and post it. So uh, it's a New Holland Workmaster 75 and uh, so far it's been a good tractor. We've owned it just uh, about one year or two months, I think I already said that. But anyway, I'll just go around and tell you about some of the things, uh, some of my thoughts on the things. Um, the uh, checking the oil. Right down there, I don't know if you can see that yellowish dipstick right there. That's the where you check the oil. It's kind of hard to get your hand down there to check it. I've not actually changed the oil yet, uh, but I'm going to uh, have it done this spring. Uh, probably get the dealer to do it the first time, since I don't to find out the trick because that filter is pretty pretty big. Um, and I, they say it's painted on from the factory and hard to get off. So I'll probably let the dealer do it the first time, watch them do it, so I can kind of learn the tricks of it. So uh, uh, we've used it feeding hay through the winter and start, starts good in the cold. And we've not had like extreme cold. And really cold days, we park inside in an insulated shop. It only gets down to about 30 in there, but it starts uh, no problems with starting. I live in East Tennessee. and. Uh, it's been we had just come through a real code spell and uh, no problems with that uh, one feature I like about it is the uh, has a little pre cleaner here on the grill so you can see there's a little stuff there it needs to be cleaned out but uh, uh, you can kind of get it before it gets packed back in your grill and clean it out this is the uh, filter right here that you change uh, it needs to be changed and uh, and no issues with the battery so far it seems when you started it seems a little I don't know, maybe sluggish sometimes, but it always starts. Um, so, uh, so far, anyway. And uh, anyway, it's the cool one up there. And uh, um, that's where you hook, it on, hook the loader. We've never had the loader off. I don't know. We have a cattle operation, so I don't think we'll ever take it off. But uh, if you want to take it off, I said it's easy to do. The um, got the hay and roller on right now, and. Uh, you check the uh, hydraulic fluid right here. A little dipstick right there. It's really got a uh, really short reed wind on it. Uh, it's it's like about a half inch, uh, so it's really kind of hard to see, especially with it being new. The fluid's clear, so it's hard to tell exactly where it's at on that. It's not easy to read, but uh, anyway, n really no issues so far. Um, it's got a. Uh, this is a little lever here to uh all, all the ones don't have this feature but it's to make little small adjustments on the uh on the lift when you're back here trying to hook something up uh, you can make small adjustments and, and adjust it without having to get back into the cab and uh, so that's nice we did have an issue with the uh the, the lift going down slower than it should and uh, there's a set screw uh, approximately on the other side of that housing underneath the cab about right in the middle and uh we got in there and, and uh backed that off a little bit and this little allen wrench and turned it out and it, it made it go down a lot faster so it fixed that problem but anyway there's a guy in, in texas that did a video on how to do that exactly but uh that was really helpful for us to change that that's the only really bad thing that's happened so far the um um I'll tell you some things about the cab. The uh, these levers right here do not have a float position. It's just up and down. They don't lock in place. Um, I wish I had a float position. I understand that that's an option on some models, but uh, uh, or even on this tractor, I think it's an option. But uh, anyway, um, I wish I had a float. Even our '89 model 6610 has a float on it um the uh, gears the uh one, one through four lever is uh synchronized and shifts real smooth no problems with that the uh, one through three range selector is uh not synchronized so you have to come to a full stop to shift with that so you don't grind the gears uh throttle works good right there foot throttle don't use it very much um one thing I don't like about the, the brakes, um, they work okay, but the four-wheel drive 
actuates whenever you're braking and it's supposed to help you brake better but I don't really like that especially like when you're doing loader work and stuff for that to be clicking on and off because you kind of hear it when you're doing that so I'm not really crazy about that feature but it's on here the shuttle shift uh, works really smooth um, no problems with that uh, I clutch it to use that some people say that you don't have to clutch it but I do uh, the uh, hydraulic uh, lever uh, some people say it's a little far forward but I don't really think it's that big of an issue it works okay for me um, the um, let's see what else um, not really had any issues with it other than uh, when we initially got it the uh, uh, I'll get back out of the cab here the loader which you can't see up there the uh, quick hitch the uh, it didn't fit the spear that we got and so we had to grind on it and it fit the bucket okay that came with it but uh, I don't know why it didn't uh, it didn't fit that correctly but uh, but anyway uh, it's uh, been a good tractor and uh so far really no uh no major issues with it one thing about the cab i will say it's a little bit louder a little bit louder than i thought it would be um we've never had a cab tractor before but for me it just seems like you when you're running doing something where you, when you don't have much throttle like feeding hay or something it's it, you can hear the radio okay but like if you're doing something like mowing hay all day um it's um, a little bit annoying to uh it's a little bit loud you, you, sometimes i wear uh headphones when i'm in there uh, with it uh, just to so it's not so loud uh, on your ears so um uh, we did um we fed with it we uh pulled a 10 foot disc with it pulled a 10 foot color marcher with it we uh pulled a uh, we mowed hay with it with a uh, seven foot uh, uh disc mower and um had no problems with any of those. We did not round bell with it. We have another tractor we round bell with, so I don't know how, how it would pull the round baler. Um, but it seems to have plenty of power for everything that we do so far, except possibly round bell, and I, I would like to see how it does with that. Um, but um, anyway, that's all I can think of right now. So, uh, so talk to you later.